Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and greetings from Harare, Zimbabwe. My name is Zivai Matondo, and I'm a distinguished Toastmaster. Zimbabwe is known for its majestic Victoria Falls, the largest waterfall in the world. Zimbabwe is also known for its largest man-made lake when it comes to volume which is our Lake Kariba. Zimbabwe also has five UNESCO World Heritage Sites. When you're looking for the best places to go on a safari, think Zimbabwe. We have Wange National Park, we have the Mana Pools, and these are places one can visit if they want to go for the best safari in Africa. When we think of food, our staple food is what is known as sadza. And sadza is a stiffened maize meal that one can have with either a beef stew, a chicken stew. If you're not wanting to go for the meat, one can have it with vegetables. Or maybe you want to dip in sour milk. Most of us love and enjoy our sadza. Hi, my name is Chendai. I love Zimbabwe because we are an inclusive people. As a person living with a visual impairment, I feel safe, supported and included in this beautiful place I call home. Zimbabwe, a land of milk and honey, teeming with natural resources, holding the potential to feed the world bringing fabulous flavors to the dining table. Pull up a chair and take a deep breath of the Zimbabwean fresh air. What a best place to be. What a best city to be. What a beautiful country to be. A beautiful place with a nice weather. A secure place Arare, Zimbabwe. That way I find Toastmaster Division Z, the Phoenix Toastmaster Club. Where you can find some nice and special food. A special popcorn called Maputi. A different types of animals. And a tourism place. Big folks. There's a Zimbabwe court say in French, attention, attention, il y a un danger qui vient. Et that danger, that danger is happening today. Thank you. Let's all agree. We can't talk about Zimbabwe without mentioning the majestic Victoria Falls, the Kariba Dam, or the Great Zimbabwe. But what makes Zimbabwe more special? It's the love that the people have, as well as our strong culture. There's only one way to experience this, if you come to Zimbabwe. <laughs>